Hi and welcome to this lesson where we are doing some examples of fractional exponents. Okay, so what we learned so far is that when a fraction, an exponent is a fraction, so for example I've got a base, an exponent is a fraction, meaning it has a numerator and a denominator, it actually means that it can be written as the, whatever the denominator is, let's call it d, the dth root of the base with just the numerator. Okay, so we can rewrite it like that. So uh, that usually is an easy way to just simplify basic questions. For example, 9 to the power of a half means it's the second root, or the square root is what we call the second root, of 9 to the power of 1. We don't need to write an exponent when it's 1. So the square root of 9 we know is 3. Another way we could have done it is we could have said, well, we can write 9 as, let me change colors a bit, uh, 9 as 3 squared. That's what we can replace 9 with. Now, but 9 is being raised to the power of a half. And when we have a power to a power, we multiply the exponents. So we can multiply those. So that gives me 3, and 2 times a half gives me 1. That's another way of doing it, and that's the way I'm going to do it for the rest of this presentation. So here we have negative 16 to the power of 1 over 4. Now 16 can be written as, okay, remember this negative, and now the 16 is replaced, so we replace 16 with 2 to the power of 4, because 2 to the power of 4 is 16. Now I put that in brackets, um, and it's important to notice that this negative is not also raised to the power of a half. If it was negative 16 to the power of a half, uh, sorry, a quarter, it should have been like this. Now that is actually a negative 1 times 16, and the 16 is raised to that exponent. So there's actually a negative 1 in front of this 16. And this is raised to the power of a quarter, which means that it's uh, at least the base with the exponent is raised to exponent. So we multiply these two exponents, which means it is. 4 times a quarter gives me 1, that's 2 to the power of 1, I don't need to write it, but the negative is still in front there, uh, it's actually a negative 1 that's still multiplying that expression. Ok, let's do another one. Here we have 25 to the power of negative a half, ok, so let's write this one as, as the following. This can be written as 25, or let's rather say 5 to the power of 2 that is multiplied with negative a half. Well, raised to the power of negative a half. Now I multiply exponents, which means I have 5 to the power of 2 times negative a half gives me negative 1. And we know that uh, when I have something to the power of negative 1, I'm talking about the inverse, the multiplicative inverse, 1 over 5. Or you could have just said, well, negative 1 means multiply, so the coefficient, which is 1, sorry, negative 1 means divide. So the coefficient 1 is being divided by 5 negative, uh, uh, 1 times, sorry, the negative means divide. Okay, so the next one, this one looks a little bit more complicated, let's see. This one is negative 3, uh, 36 to the power of 3 over 2. Now again, that negative has got nothing to... Uh, do with that exponent. So we'll keep it negative here and let's do this 36 to the power of 3 over 2. That's just going to help us to ignore the negative uh, in front. You will just tag along. Okay. So now the 36 we can write as 6 squared to the power of 3 over 2. Now we can multiply the exponents. So it's 2 times, so we have 2 over 1 times 3 over 2. These 2's cancel and uh, leave me with 1. So I've got 1 times 3 is 3 over 1. So I'm just left with 3. Okay, so this is negative 6 to the power of 3. Now 6 to the power of 3 is 216. So that's negative 216. Okay, final one we have negative 100. And this time you can see the negative and the 100 is in a bracket. And the whole thing is to the power of negative 
uh, sorry, to the power of 3 over 2. Okay, so here it's important to note that in the end, this is what's, what it's going to be. It's going to be negative 100 to the power of 3 to the power of a half. Now, how did I how did I get there? Well, instead of saying I've got, uh, remember the numerator tells me how many of the uh, parts I have. So this is the same as saying n times one over d. How many I have of these? Okay. So I've got three halves, three times a half. Now that's the same as using this rule word that I just used. Uh, b to the power of e time to the power of f then we know we can multiply the exponents I just now did it this way around and I simply did it to show you something so here we have um, I broke this up into two parts so negative 100 times by itself three times that would give me negative 100 times itself once would be 10,000 times itself again would be 1 million negative 1 million to the power of a half and this to the power of a half means square root the square root of negative 1 million now the square root of negative 1 million is undefined well not undefined I lie. it's not real it's not a real number not real Okay, and uh, you might write does not exist if you want to. Okay, and this is how we do fractional exponents. Very basic questions, but uh, indeed, I don't think you'll find them much more complicated than this elsewhere. See you in the next video.